Let's talk about the Toyota Corolla hybrid and non-hybrid versions. Price tag, you go on Facebook market, you find it between eight and 12,500 US, depending on the car dealer. Never trust the mileage, especially for a car that is more than five years old. And then they say that the mileage is less than 100,000. That's a red flag. Pricing, what I did notice is that the hybrid version is cheaper than the non-hybrid, probably because of maintenance issues. It's much easier and cheaper to service and maintain a non-hybrid vehicle in Zimbabwe than it is to do the one that is too much electronics. Comes with a 1.5 liter 1NZ engine or a 1.8 liter engine. And for the non-hybrid version, you can go 17.5 kilometers per liter with a full tank of 42 liters. But get this, the hybrid version can do 33, 33 kilometers per liter. Zimbabwe Park Nukzoka, 2 liters. Bam! Non-hybrid version comes with just the combustion engine, petrol. Uh, the hybrid version comes with the combustion engine and an electric motor. Combination of both is to increase mileage, drive more kilometers, and save more fuel, and reduce carbon emissions. Common problems with the Toyota Corolla Axio, they are due to lack of service, basic service. It doesn't have fancy problems like all oh, these other cars that we like to talk about, the, the CX-5s and... <laughs> and the CX-5s, but generally it's easy to maintain, it's cheap to maintain, car parts are readily, readily available in Zimbabwe or even in South Africa, so when you buy that car, you won't have too much problems, even the mechanics, you can find an affordable mechanic to fix your car whenever you buy it, when you buy that car, even if it has a big mileage written on the dashboard, just take it to your, to your, to mechanic with a budget of like three to five hundred dollars, he'll fix it nicely for you, and it will start to perform in mintish condition. That's that's the one thing that is famous about the Corolla. It is reliable. Of course, don't do off-roading. It does not have a nice ground clearance. Uh, the shocks are not uh, very flexible and comfortable and whatnot. Because, I mean, it wasn't built for that. You know, it was built for regular driving, urban driving. You go to work, you suffer, you go home, do it again tomorrow. Uh, fuel wise, like I said, 1.5 and 1.8 liter, that's really nothing, you know. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this car for drivers that will do between five and ten thousand Ks per year. Yes, this is the car for you. If you're a traveler, a globe trotter like some of us, I uh, know, don't buy that car.